An undeniable trend in the smartphone industry right now is the move to high refresh rate displays. They've been around for a few years, but they really shot to popularity this year in 2019 with more and more brands using them as a selling point in their phones. OnePlus were really one of the first brands that has a lot of attention in the mainstream to bring us a high refresh rate, 90 hertz display on the OnePlus 7 Pro. That phone went down incredibly well and it just is a good spec. Most people agree that 90 hertz just feels good and is a positive thing in the phone as a feature. But of course, as time goes on and competition pushes things forward, 90 hertz isn't enough and more and more brands are now choosing 120 hertz displays. But what do we actually need? Because virtually no apps actually even support 120 hertz displays right now. And also the move to 120 hertz means more power will be consumed, which of course will affect battery life. So firstly, the choice between a 90 hertz and 120 hertz may be taken away from you. Code has been found in Samsung's One UI 2.0 beta software that supports 60 or 120 hertz displays and not 90 hertz displays. Exactly the same thing has been found in Redmi phones. You can switch between 60 and 120 hertz, but there's no option for 90 hertz. However, for Redmi to give such a top spec as a really high refresh rate, they had to actually switch away from the OLED screens they were using in the K20 series to LCD screens in the K30 series. A lot of people said they would have been happier with a 90 hertz OLED display rather than an LCD display with 120 hertz. Whatever setup you like, 60, 90, 120, LCD, OLED is obviously going to be down to your personal choice. But it does pose a question, if no apps can support 120 hertz right now, then what is the point of offering it as a function in the smartphone. We can get a sneak peek of what the future holds for this technology thanks to a recent update to the Chinese version of PUBG. If you go into the settings screen, you can of course turn down all the graphic settings and that means that high refresh rate options are opened up for you. This year with the advent of 90 hertz displays becoming more popular, they actually added a Chao Ji option, which means super option. In other words, a high refresh rate mode. Recently, however, they updated it again with a out and out 90 hertz option. So if you are a big gamer, you're gonna wanna choose 120 hertz because more and more games will start to support it for sure. And with Redmi choosing a 120 hertz display in the K30 series and even the cheaper version, the K30 4G having the same 120 hertz refresh rate, you have to assume that every phone from Redmi and Xiaomi at or above that price is also going to support that type of refresh rate screen. Oppo's approach with the upcoming Reno 3 Pro is to stick with OLED technology and give a 90 hertz refresh rate. But looking forward to the slightly more expensive OnePlus phones, we would expect at least the Pro version to support possibly 120 hertz and keeping the OLED too. So it seems like right now because of cost, especially in mid-range phones, you have to make some compromises. If you definitely want an OLED display, it looks like you're having to stick to a 90 hertz refresh rate. And if you really want the 120 hertz refresh rates, then you're gonna have to look at an IPS LCD panel. It seems like right now at least, OLED with 120 hertz is being kept for more expensive phones and flagship phones like the Galaxy S11 series, possibly the OnePlus 8 Pro. We've even heard that the iPhone may include it this year, but of course it's still rumors right now. Overall, from my experience, I would say that 90 hertz is plenty for most people. It gives you a really good gaming experience, and especially if you're buying a mid-range device with a mid-range processor, 120 hertz displays is gonna be just a little bit too much for that to support anyway. Of course, with upcoming flagship phones with the new Snapdragon 865 chipset, you can crank it up to 120 hertz and that thing will have absolutely no problems, but you will have to pay for the privilege. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and check out my Twitter for some more information too. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.